President Xi Jinping opened his Communist Party's Congress. In a speech to more than 2,000 delegates, the leader of One Party China laid out his vision for the future of the world's most populous nation. He stressed his goal of reunifying the self-ruled island of Taiwan with China. The resolution of the Taiwan issue is a matter for the Chinese themselves to decide. We insist on striving for the prospect of peaceful reunification with the greatest sincerity and with the greatest effort. However, we are not committed to abandoning the use of force and we reserve the option of taking all necessary measures. Taiwan was quick to respond to Xi's remarks, stating that peace and stability in the region is the common responsibility of both sides. Chinese Communist Party members are expected to hand Xi a rare third term, possibly strengthening his iron grip on the biggest global economy after the United States. Let's have a quick look at his rise to power. Xi Jinping's political journey has been epic, from political exile during the upheavals of the Cultural Revolution to becoming the most powerful Chinese leader since Mao Zedong in the 1970s. China has been transformed since the Mao era from a poor, inward-looking country into a global superpower and the world's second-largest economy. Analysts believe Xi goes into the Congress in a strong position, and his appointment for a third term as party chief gives him more political muscle. They say the makeup of Congress has also changed in his favour. There were many factions, many struggles and many disagreements. This is likely going to be the first one without factional struggles since the establishment of the Communist Party of China, which means that Xi Jinping has taken control of everything. Xi has taken a hardline approach to China's relations with the West, particularly over self-ruled Taiwan. Xi wants Taiwan to revert to Beijing's rule by 2049, the centenary of the foundation of the People's Republic. He's not ruled out taking the island by force. His reluctance to condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine has antagonised the West, and his efforts to grab territory in the South China Sea have angered China's neighbours. Relations with the United States are at their lowest ebb for years, while tensions between the EU and China could escalate if she strengthens his commitment to a confrontational foreign policy. While the rest of the world is easing COVID-19 restrictions, China's authorities have intensified their efforts to contain outbreaks, with strict lockdowns, mass testing and lengthy quarantines. This zero-COVID approach is one of Xi's landmark policies. It's also turning into the most potent test of his leadership so far. At least one person was arrested in Beijing for hanging a protest banner in the city. Such protest actions are highly unusual. Economic growth under Xi is suffering, and fears of a global recession triggered by the war in Ukraine have hit confidence. Any hint of China's future direction will be followed closely around the world. Correspondent Fabian Kretschmer is following the party congress for us in Beijing. Fabian, Xi's remarks regarding Taiwan, let's have a quick focus on that. Talking about possible use of force or not uh, calling that, taking that off the table. Is that just posturing or is this a true threat uh, that Taiwan's allies need to take seriously? Well, I think the international community should take this uh, concerning statement very seriously, definitely. I mean, um, but let me add some context. Um, I mean, the wording was very strong, but it is not really new. I mean, there were similar statements um, also saying that um, no um, uh, measurements can be ruled out in the, in the Taiwan question. So it is not new. And most um, uh, observers say that um, a war over Taiwan in the next years is rather unlikely and actually has become more unlikely unlikely uh, because of the war in Ukraine, because right now the uncertainties in, uh, in terms of foreign policy are really very high and uh, the Chinese leadership is rather, rather risk averse. But on the long term, uh, the risk is there. And I think um, uh, Xi Jinping has made it very clear also after all what he said today that he is willing to um, pay the price in terms of uh, economic consequences and that he prioritizes his political goals. And uh, one of his core national interests is the Taiwan 
question. He wants to unify um, what he says, the motherland with Taiwan. I think the West should take it very seriously. And you mentioned just now some of his political interests. She is almost certain to get his third term in office. Does that make his power absolute? I mean, how absolute his power really is, nobody can say for sure, but every indicator says that his grip on power is very, very firm. And uh, clearly he's the most um, powerful leader since Mao Zedong, that is also very clear. And um, yeah, also his third term, I mean, uh, anything else would be a sensation. So um, I'm expecting that is for sure. And um, what could be possible is that uh, he would have to make some concessions or compromises when it co uh, comes to the economy. I mean, that depends on who will be the next prime minister and how much influence uh, he or she will have. Um, but I'm only speculating here. The bigger picture is that Xi Jinping is very firm when it comes to his grip on power.